Understanding the phrase, ICO fever, in English. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we explore and learn English together. Today, we have an interesting topic in store for you. We're going to decipher the meaning behind the phrase, ICO fever. This phrase might sound a bit complex at first, but don't worry, by the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of what it means and how to use it. Let's start by breaking down the phrase into two parts, ICO and fever. ICO stands for initial coin offering. This is a term borrowed from the world of cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. It refers to the first sale of a new digital currency to the public, with the goal of raising capital for the development of the currency or a related project. On the other hand, fever, in this context, doesn't refer to a physical illness. Instead, it denotes a state of intense excitement or enthusiasm. When we say someone has a fever, for something, we mean they are very passionate or obsessed with it. Now that we've broken down the phrase, Let's dive deeper into understanding what ICO fever really means. When people talk about ICO fever, they are referring to a period of time when there is an extremely high level of excitement and interest in investing in initial coin offerings. During this time, investors are eager to put their money into new digital currencies, hoping that these currencies will increase in value and bring them significant profits. However, it's important to note that ICO fever can also have a negative connotation. This is because the intense excitement can sometimes lead to irrational investment decisions, where people invest without properly researching or understanding the risks involved. Now, let's look at how you can use ICO fever in a sentence. Back in 2017, the cryptocurrency world experienced ICO fever, with new digital currencies launching almost every day. In this sentence, ICO fever is used to describe a specific time period marked by intense enthusiasm for investing in initial coin offerings. And there you have it, a comprehensive guide to understanding the phrase, ICO fever. We hope this video has helped clarify the meaning for you and shown you how to use it in a sentence. Remember, language is a powerful tool, and understanding phrases like these can help you communicate more effectively. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Happy learning!